Well, welcome to a day of devotion as we start a series on the Psalms. I think the Psalms is some amazingly great devotional work. And so for the next 50 days or thereabouts, we'll be talking about the Psalms as I'm going to go through 50 Psalms and then take a break and then 50 more Psalms. So I thought today we'd do a brief overview of the Psalms. Today, uh, the Psalms are 150 poems written by about 10 different authors over a thousand year period. Can you believe it? A thousand years. These Psalms were used by the Israelites as their songbook in synagogue. Of course, synagogues didn't really start until about uh, 300 years before Jesus. 73 or about half of the Psalms are written by David and they reflect different experiences in his life. So when we get to those, we may go back and look at those experiences back in, you know, first Kings and second Kings and stuff like in there. Uh, the book of Psalms was first referred to as the Psalms in the Septuagint, which was a Greek translation of the Old Testament. Its title was taken from the Greek word psalmos, which means a poem to be sung to a stringed instrument. Praise and prayer are definitely the central messages in the Psalms. These were written for recitation and singing in corporate worship in the temple. The truthfulness in each psalm is encapsulated in the vehicle of poetry. We need to approach it as we would any other poem. So that's how we'll approach it in all of our devotionals. Now I've chosen a verse to use as kind of our theme for psalms. I hope this works for you, but I always try to find a verse or two that I think is the theme. And I've chosen Psalm 9, 1 and 2. I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. I'll tell you of the marvelous things you've done. I will be filled with joy because of you. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. I love the Psalms, and I'm excited that we're going to get to study them together. And um, I look forward to these next few weeks. Father, thank you for a chance to study your word, and especially these amazing uh, poems and songs of praise and lament. And I look forward to studying them over the next few weeks. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Guys, have an amazing day, and I will talk to you on Tuesday at Day of Devotion. <laughs>